Hello everybody, Andrea here with Dental Health Tutoring. So let's talk about how should you study if you've taken the exam, the board exam several times, you have not passed, you have one last chance to pass. How do I suggest you study? It's very different than if you're taking the board exam for the first time and I'll tell you why. The biggest mistake that students make, even after they've taken the board exam once and don't pass, the biggest mistake that they make is only studying what they feel they didn't know. So if they took the exam, they had troubles with pharmacology, special needs, and maybe oral pathology questions. They will spend months or a month only studying that, but that's it. Then they take the board exam again and all of that other material they would have since forgotten or at least not remembered as they should enough to pass. So the best advice I can give you guys is if you have one more chance to take the board exam is study everything again as if it's the first time, okay? But I still want you to do it slightly different. So what I suggest you do is actually do mock exam practice questions first. So don't just open up the textbook, read everything. Don't open up your course materials if you're in my board exam prep academy course and just read everything. Don't just read materials. I want you to do mock exam practice questions first on topics. So let's say you want to study anatomy today. Take a mock exam practice test on anatomy and see how you do. If you do poorly, then I want you to go back and study anatomy that day, probably for the next three days, because anatomy isn't going to take you just one day to study for a couple hours to know everything. Study for anatomy as if you're taking an exam in school, just anatomy and do not take the board exam again next month. You need time to study and you need time to prepare. So does that make sense, you guys? Now, mock exam practice questions, you can make those on your own, have another study buddy do it for you, you know, and then compare notes. Um, you could do five mock exam practice tests. The, uh, the, the other person can do five and then you kind of switch them. That is really, really helpful. If you need help, if you sign up for my board exam prep academy course, I have mock exam practice questions in there for you. More than one on every single topic you need to know for the board exam. Plus, you will also have full access to tutoring sessions as a group where I go through more mock exam practice questions with you for one full hour, where I go through questions and the answer for you and how to pick the best answer and always practice critical thinking. So that is truly the best way to pass is going through a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Studying on your own is difficult, especially if you have failed the board exam before because you are more stressed than ever. Of course you are, because if you only have one more attempt to pass, you're going to be even more stressed. That stress is making it difficult for you to focus, knowing what to study and when to study. So let me help you. I will leave the link for you guys on the bottom for the board exam prep academy course. I have one for dental hygienists and dental assistants. You have full access until you pass the exam. So no rush, within reason. If it takes you four years, email me, we'll talk about it, but you have no rush and I'm here to help you pass. And if you have trouble, guess what? You can ask me and I can help you. It just means I will hop on and do another tutoring session on anatomy and then we can go through it that way so you truly understand everything. So that's the best way. Mock exam practice questions first. So let's say you take a mock exam practice test on oral pathology and you do a great job. I'm not saying do not study oral pathology because I actually want you to study oral pathology again, but it will likely take you maybe three hours to study, not four hours for three or sorry, four days for three hours a day. It's just going to take you a couple hours to read through everything and then you feel good about it. Whereas anatomy that you didn't do a good job on, let's say, that might take you four days to study that two hours every day. But then you will understand anatomy and those questions that they're going to ask you on the board exam, you will pass. There's a method to my madness, everybody. If you need help, let me know. I will leave the link for you guys for the board exam prep academy. Um, enrollment is now open. Now is the time to sign up. You get full access to all materials right away. 
plus our previous recorded mock exam sessions. So if you don't want to read through things or take mock exams, you can listen to me teach you. So that's kind of fun, right? I hope so. So you get full access to everything right away. Good luck, you guys. Let me know if you need anything and talk to you very soon.